Hey guys, this is Jada. I have a full body HIIT workout for you with dumbbells. So grab your light weights and we're gonna get right into it. Are you ready? I think you said yes, so here we go. Start our warm up, nice big deep breath. Here we go, up and exhale. One more. Exhale. All right, hands go forward. We're gonna press them and then pull back. Awesome, just rotating through that spine. Getting into that shoulder. I want this to be an active stretch. So you push and pull, lengthen that body. Like I said, this is a full body workout. So we really wanna make sure that our joints are ready to go. Couple more, one on each side. Here we go on the right and the left. Awesome, now I want you to bend your knees, drop into the squat, just come down and up. Make sure that you're placing your weight into your heels, bending through those knees and through those hips, sending the butt back to whatever's in back of you. Maybe it's a wall for me, it's a big rock in the ocean, so, but I'm sending it all the way back. Awesome, now on the up, we're gonna add an arm swing. Down, up, arm swing, other side, awesome. Down, up, arm swing, excellent. So we got about 30 minutes of work today. So if you've pressed play, then you've already committed to the next 30 minutes, you're gonna work to your best with me. Bring out all that you can. We wanna see what your 100% looks like today. One more each side. And last one, awesome. So from here, we're just gonna pull our knee into our chest, give it a little bit of a hug. Alternating those legs. Great job. If you need to, you can hold on to a wall or put your hand on a wall and then just do one side at a time. And then you can switch, hold on to the other side if you're struggling with balance. If not, then you're just gonna hug those knees. Awesome, it's such a beautiful day today. Believe it or not, we thought it was gonna be cold. <laughs> But it is not. It's pretty warm out here, but it's beautiful. So I'm getting ready to sweat right along with you. One more knee pull. Awesome. Let's go ahead, lean side to side. Really get that torso action. One, two, three, four. And then we're going to pivot, pivot, pivot. Lean to the side. One, two, three. Now pivot. With that lunge, drop the back knee. Awesome, one more time, reach over your head. And then pivot side to side. Keep it going. We got about 30 more seconds in this warm up. Last one right here. And pivot with that lunge. And three, four, awesome. All right, we're just gonna jog it out. Give me some flies right here. Last eight seconds. All right, going into our first move. Grab those dumbbells, work in those shoulders. We're doing a V press, so you go all the way up and down. We're in this workout now. The magic of this workout, this is how I designed it. We're gonna do an upper body exercise, a lower body exercise, and then put them together. And then we'll do a cardio exercise, and then something for your core. So you got five moves that we'll do back to back, and then we'll take about a minute rest. Come on, keep going. Make sure that core is engaged. Elbows come all the way in and then straighten all the way. Kind of like you're making like a cheerleader V. There you go. Three, two, one, about 10 seconds rest. All right, move two. Those dumbbells are going to your shoulders and you're gonna give me reverse lunges. I'm gonna show you from the side. Ready, let's go. Keep 
Keep that back nice and tall, chest is up. Bend the front knee and the back knee. Drop the back knee toward the ground. <clears throat> Great job, you guys, keep going. Now, modification for this would just be not going so low. So if this is the lunge that your body can do, then that's great. If you can get down nice and low, awesome. We got three, two, one, rest. Now we're putting those two moves together. Give me that one lunge, reverse lunge, deep press in the center. Awesome job, guys. Keep those knees at that 90 degree bend when you hit the bottom of that lunge. Press those, ar woo, press those arms up all the way. I'm gonna show you from the front now. Back and up together. Awesome job, keeping that back nice and straight. Chest up, feeling the burn in those shoulders. Love it, come on. We got five, four, three, two, and one. Rest, drop those dumbbells. Going into our cardio move, which is jacks in three, two, one. So we can do a high impact jack. That's what I'm doing right here. Or low impact jack. If you have sensitive knees, sensitive low back, then you just do the low impact version. And that's perfect. If you're good to jump, feels good to your body, then you do the high impact version. Keep it going guys. Feeling that heart rate elevate just a little bit. Couple more seconds. Reminder of the low impact version. We got five, four, three, two, and one. Take that rest. All right, move number five is a standing crunch with a punch. No weights necessary. You're gonna kick one leg out and punch with the opposite arm. Now with that kick, you're crunching through your core. I'm gonna show you from the side. Really feeling those abs as you bring that leg up and punch that arm across. Keeping that back nice and straight. Bringing your foot to your hand. So think lifting that body, lifting that foot. Feeling those abdominals working. And three, two, one. Yes, you guys, we got about a minute rest. So this is a great time to get some water, grab your towel, and then, you know, just breathe a little bit. Get your body ready for our second set. Now, if you're someone who doesn't really like rest, or maybe you feel like you can move a little bit, then go ahead, give me a shuffle. You can jog in place. Remember, this is about you and your fitness level. But we got about 40 more seconds until we start set two. I'm gonna show you what it looks like before we go. So while you're resting, check this out. First move, dumbbell front raise, pull to chest, push to press, and then, re and then go ahead and reverse it. So this is what it's gonna look like. So you can get that brain ready to do the work. All right guys, we got about 15 seconds and then we go. Having such a great time already this morning. You got step or set one done. Going in on set two and three, two and one. Here we go. Front raise, straighten the elbows, then bend the elbows, bring it in. Push up, straighten the elbows to a press. Bring it back to your shoulders, press out and then down. I'm gonna show you from the side. Bring it up, in, press, 
in, out, and down. Nice job. Up, in, press, in, out, and down. Excellent, guys. In, out, in, forward, and down. Yep. Almost there. Keep that back nice and straight. Chest is up. Core is engaged. Using those shoulders, using those biceps. And rest right here. All right, our lower body exercise is a dumbbell squat. So we're gonna hold on to our dumbbells. Just keep your arms relaxed. Let the lower body do the work. Ready, sit back and then squeeze up. There we go, back and up. So I want to see your butt reach to the back and then push through your heels to come to a stand. Get a full range of motion. That means get as low as you can go and then come up to a fully standing position. There we go. <clears throat> Couple more. Keep breathing. You got about 10 seconds. Three, two, one, awesome. All right, transition, we're putting those two exercises together. I'm gonna show you from the side. Squat first in three, two, one, squat. Arms come up, in, up, in, out, squat, up. There we go. Let me show you from the front. Squat, up, in, press, in, out, down, up. Nice job, guys. Feeling that heart rate increase. Feeling the whole body working. I really love this move, feels so good. Drop that butt as low as you can. We got about five more seconds. Get low, stand, in, up, in, out, and we're done with that one. Put your weights down. Going into our cardio move, we're doing a jack with a jump forward and back. I'll show you, ready? Let's do it together. Jack, forward, back, jack, forward, back. Woo! <laughs> Forward, back, jack, forward, back. Now, if you're not jumping, here's your modification. Run up, run back. Out, out, run up, and back. Out, out, run up, and back. Good, so you can choose which one works for you. You got about 10 seconds. Last five, three, two, one. Awesome job, guys. Going into our core work. So what I want you to do, left toe goes out, right toe forward, right hand up in the air. We're gonna hit a windmill body weight. Come up with a nice crunch. Awesome, so I want you to feel those obliques. Lengthen those arms, reach for the sky or the ceiling, whatever's in front of you. And we're gonna switch to the other side in about four, three, two, one. Awesome, so I'm gonna switch. Other toe goes out, other arm goes up, reaches to the sky, and give me that knee crunch. Excellent job, guys. Three, two, and one. Awesome. All right, we're in a rest right now. Set two is done. Get some more water if you need it. We're going into set three. I'm gonna show you the first move. You'll need your dumbbells. 
and it's a standing fly with your palms up. Feet are gonna start about hip width apart. Bend those knees, tuck that pelvis under, engage the core. Arms come up at shoulder level. You're gonna open up to, sh to the outside of your body laterally, laterally <laughs> and then close it off. Open up, close it off. We got about 25 seconds until we go into that move. If you like rest, then you can just stand still. If you wanna jog it out, you can keep the dumbbells in your hand. You can drop them to the floor. We got about 12 seconds. And we're gonna go in. All right, five, four, three, two, one. Arms up at shoulder level. Bring them out to the sides of your body and then back in. Nice job. Out and in, out and in. Find a pace that works for you. Something that's challenging, but you don't feel like you're swinging your arms. You should feel like the movement's very controlled. You're squeezing in through your chest as you bring the dumbbells together, and you're squeezing your shoulder blades together as you bring the dumbbells back out to the sides. Working those biceps too, isometrically. Come on, let's go. You guys are killing it right now. You're doing so good, keep going. Don't stop, let the shoulders burn. We got three, two, and one, nice job. All right, so your second move is alternating curtsy lunges. So one foot's gonna be forward as the other foot goes back to a diagonal, and then you come to center. Let's start. Down and up, awesome. Sink it into the sand a little bit. So if I'm moving kind of slow, it's just to make sure I get my balance. You can move a little faster than me. Just make sure that that front knee gets to a 90 degree bend and then push off the front leg to come to stand. Nice job, guys. Awesome, keep that chest nice and high. Keep the head up. Sometimes with curtsy lunges, we wanna bend forward. I want you to keep that back nice and straight. Keep going. You got five, four, three, two, one. Awesome. All right, we're putting the two moves together. So we have that standing, that standing fly with the palms up and the curtsy lunge. Ready, set, let's go. Open, squeeze together. Open, squeeze together. Oh, you're doing so good. Keep it going. Keep that back nice and straight, chest is up. Core is engaged so you can feel that tension through the middle of your body around that core. Feeling the tension in the shoulders, in the biceps, in those quads and in those glutes, working the whole body with this one. 10 seconds. Four, three, two, get that last one. Awesome job, drop those weights. So next move is our cardio move, going into jab and jack, one of my favorites. Ready, we'll turn to the side, jab and jack. So we're gonna alternate the punch. There you go. If you're not jumping, Step out, tap. Switch side, step out, tap. There you go. Here's the jump again. Can you give me 10 more seconds? Yes, you can. Come on. Last five, four, three, two, one. Great job. All right, going into our core move. I need one dumbbell. You're going to hold it on the end. Start with the dumbbell up in the air. All right, so we're going to do a figure eight. High knee. <sighs> Pulling that dumbbell down, making that huge circle with those arms, bringing the knee up. 
on the same side of that dumbbell. Can you crunch just a little bit more? There you go, come on. Whew. We got 10 seconds. We are gonna do this. You are gonna finish strong. Don't stop moving. Three, two, get that last one. Yes. You guys, that was set four. We got one more set left. One more set left. All right, enjoy your rest right now. I'm gonna enjoy it. <clears throat> Gotta do a little dance. You know, that's how I kind of pep myself up. <sighs> Pretend like there's some music going on. And then I tell myself in my head like, I got this, I got this. So you should do that too. What do you need to pump yourself up today? We're gonna finish strong. All right, first move, you'll need both dumbbells. And this is our upper body move, remember. So it's gonna be our bent over row. I'm gonna show you from the diagonal. Push your hips back. Bring those elbows up toward the sky, but close to your rib cage. So those elbows are really close to your body. Let it go and then do it again. We'll start in 15 seconds. Get ready. Last set, guys. We're gonna push through it in 10. Feet are about hip width apart. Toes are forward. Three, two, one. Bend over, butt tilted back. Weight in the heels so you can wiggle your toes. Bring those elbows in. Now you'll see I'm gonna hold for a second. Let it go. That's to really make sure that I'm getting that contraction right where I want it. And I'm making that mind-muscle connection. Excellent job, guys. It starts to build tension in that lower back and you need to just stand and shake it out, that's fine. They can get back into it. Maybe don't bend forward as low, but still get that good contraction when you bring those elbows to the sky. Three, two, one. Awesome. All right, we're pairing this with a deadlift. So keeping it really simple, I'll show you from the diagonal again. Dumbbells in front of your legs, here we go. Push the butt back, keep the knees pretty straight. Come to a 90 degree bend and then squeeze those glutes in. Ready, here we go. Once again, squeezing at the top, making sure that I'm getting those muscle groups that I'm trying to work and not just using momentum. So we wanna see results, right? So we gotta be mindful. You can't just move through it. So I'm feeling my butt cheeks, my glutes, I'm feeling my hamstrings. I got about 15 seconds left here. Good. Five, four, three, two, one. Awesome. Okay, now you know what we're doing. Those two moves are going together. So I'm gonna do a deadlift and at the bottom, I'm gonna do that row. Let's follow along with me. Ready? Here we go. Bottom of the deadlift, row, stand and squeeze. Elbows track in and back. Nice flat back as I go forward. I'm leading with my chest in order to keep my back nice and flat at the bottom of that deadlift. Come on. We're so close to being done. Ten more seconds. Come on, let's do it. Two and one. All right, guys. Going into our jack variation. So you're gonna squat, up, jack. Down, jack. Down, jack. Nice job. Down, jack. Down, jack. I hope 
hope you're sweaty. I'm looking down at the floor. I can see all my sweat droplets <laughs> pouring down my face, about to be in my eyes. Thank God I got waterproof mascara on. But even if I smudged my makeup a little bit, it's all worth it for you guys. <laughs> we got about 10 seconds here. Last five, four, three, two, one. Awesome, okay you guys, last ab work. One dumbbell. It's a dumbbell around the world. You start nice and high, feet are about shoulder width apart. Here we go, around, stop. So it's not about momentum, it's about control. <laughs> And you're feeling ah, every little bit of this movement. <sighs> feeling the contraction through the obliques when you bring it down and back up. <sighs> Alternating sides. <sighs> ah. Yep, come on, 13 seconds. <sighs> Last five, four, three, two, one. All right, guys. So, I like to go out with a bang, you know? So we're gonna have about 30 seconds rest, and then we're just gonna do about a minute and a half of crazy cardio, just to get that bang at the end. I know we all love to finish strong, so that's what we're gonna do. So I want you to mentally be like, it's not done yet. I'm gonna push as hard as I can go. And then I'm gonna be done. Cause after that, it's a cool down. Okay, we got five seconds. All we're gonna do first is run in place. Quick feet, we're gonna keep it low. Ready, come on, 30 seconds. Really simple, no thinking to it, except for that you're gonna go. That's what's going on through your mind. Come on, move those feet, move those arms. Let's go, let's go. This is where we push. This is where the change happens. When you give that little extra each time. Come on, last five, four, three, two, one. Jog it out. All right, in three, two, one, let's quick punch. Just doing another run variation, adding in that right shoulder. It should start to burn. Keep it going. Just a few more seconds. Come on, five, four, three, two, one. All right, bounce it out. We got one more, we gotta get that out of the shoulder, you know? Can't go unbalanced. Three, two, one, go. This is all about you. It's all about your goals. Come on, a little faster. You got this. You got 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two. Ah! You guys are amazing. Give yourself a pat on the back. You did so Great, all right, so, but we're not done yet. We gotta cool down. So just tap it out. Now, before we get into the stretching part of it, I love to work on breathing because if we can't breathe well, we're not getting the best amount of oxygen into our bodies so they can work the best that they can work. So let's practice that. Once you start to feel that heart rate come down just a little bit, I want one hand on your chest, one hand on your belly. Now when you inhale, I want you to feel that belly blow up like a balloon, but the hand on the chest doesn't move. All right, stand really still. Here we go, about 30 seconds of breathing. You can close your eyes if you feel good with that. Breathing in for four, one, two, 
three and four, exhale. You should feel that heart rate start to slow down. One more deep breath. That should give you a nice peaceful feeling. Starting from a peaceful place in this cool down. Arms go up. Lean all the way to one direction. Feel the stretch in the hamstring. Come to center, squat down. Wiggle back and forth. Straighten those legs, come all the way up, all the way up to the center again. And then reverse the motion down towards your toe. Come to the center. Go ahead and drop your butt. Wiggle back and forth just a little bit. Straighten those legs one more time and come all the way back up to stand. Hands come down, then back up and pull your elbows down all the way towards all the way towards your ribs push that chest out and then arms come up again bring your feet in just a little bit round your back tilt your head down let your arms fall towards the floor and then all the way back up open up the chest again and bring the elbows down towards your ribs arms, arms come all the way up and we're going to do that whole thing one more time Arms come all the way around, down toward the floor, squat down, wiggle back and forth, straighten those legs, come all the way back up again, reach your hands toward the sky, and reverse the motion. Drop into that squat, wiggle just a little bit one more time. Straighten the legs and come all the way up to the sky. Complete the rest of the circle. Pull down, elbows towards your ribs, chest out. Hands go all the way back up. Bring your feet in if you need to and round that back. Push those arms all the way forward. And then up overhead, open up that chest one more time. Let's round one last time. Feel that stretch to the upper back. Going back to one of the stretches that we did in the warm up. Hands are forward, then open up, push back, and then bring it to the front. Open up one more time, other side, push back, hold it for a second, and bring it to the front. Two more just like that. Play with those wrists just a little bit and then bring that arm back to the front. You guys, I hope you really enjoyed this workout. I got a, I got a great sweat on. I know you did too. I'm Jada Kelly and I can't wait to work out with you again. I hope you enjoyed this workout. You guys, you can actually purchase this workout along with the rest of my series at shopgymler.com. Can't wait to work out with you.